What's up everybody? Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to be making these really cool berry earrings. Basically what we're going to be doing is electroforming them. Electroforming is very similar to electroplating where you actually build a metal on top of the object. Um, electroforming, you actually let it sit for quite a number of hours. Uh, I usually do between 24 to 48 hours and uh, really build up the thickness on the copper. So in this video you're also going to see how this is actually made starting with how we're going to dip it. Basically the sealer that we use is a quick drying, quick sealing paint that I got from Jason Welsh. You can look up his channel on YouTube. It's a proprietary paint that he came up with. It's awesome. You can take any sort of like wet material such as a berry and just dip it in and it seals it right away. But yeah, basically once it's sealed, you're gonna electroform it and dip it in, put it in the bath for, I would say I did these at first probably six hours just to get that initial uh, plate of copper onto the berry and then I took it out, clipped the wire off and then added a uh, little loop that you can see is right on top of the berry there. And once I added that loop, I touched it up with a little bit of copper paint and then put it back into the bath to build the copper onto it so that's nice and sturdy. Once I took it out, I basically drilled a small hole into the berry itself and I took a torch to it and doing that actually burns the berry right out of that so you're just left with that nice berry texture and a great looking mold made of copper from the berry once that was done i basically polished it up a little bit and then i brought it over to the torch hit it with the torch and uh basically when you do that and you do it at the right temperature it uh oxidizes in these really cool colors and you can get a nice red purple blue color look to it um and then once we did that we basically dipped it into Protect-A-Clear, which is a uh, clear coat for copper. If you wanna see any more about flame painting and how you can get some really cool colors on there, make sure to check out my other videos. Yeah, so here's the process, hope you like it.